Good morning, everyone. Happy June 28th. I'd like to take just a few moments of your time to give you some updates about the progress we've made in the last week and few weeks for our community. I thought a great background would be the Penobscot River. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be on a gorgeous trail. As you can also tell, there are quite a few mosquitoes, so I may talk a bit quickly this morning. First, I'd like to welcome back many staff. Many of our child development child care teams are back as our child care centers in the Bangor area and Rockland, a number of them opened. Welcome back. A number of child development staff also came back getting ready to launch our summer programming next week. As you can tell from the community's response on Facebook, uh, they're very happy that you're back with 5,500 connections through Facebook about the child development posts. It's a sign of the love that you all have. Welcome back. We also welcome back in the last two weeks, our family visit program team, our Charlotte White Support Services staff, our behavioral health professionals, and many of our housing and energy services team. These folks need to come back to provide direct face-to-face -face services because of the need for the community. This is amazing progress, and we are very thankful you're back to deliver safe, supportive services. Starting Friday of this week, we also have begun giving out bus passes for the community connector and tickets. Individuals can come in safely one, one by one. They can also schedule to make an appointment and even get tickets via mail. Please pass this information on and Facebook did a nice job of doing it with over 55 shares. It's a great reminder for all of you to connect to the Panquist Facebook page if you'd like. I'd also like to say that our school supply drive is happening again this year. We've got your back. Now our team connected with all of our local schools to ask what they think they should be planning for given the uncertainty of the fall. And what all of our districts said is regardless of all students being back at school or being a combination of home and school or all folks being at home, it's really important that students have the supplies they need. Hi, another hiker. <laughs> so please watch for the, the information about the back to school supply drive and know that Blueberry Broadcasting will help us via radio as well as we're all key partners. Regardless of where children will be learning, they'll need the supplies to do so well. Lastly, I, I became aware of two staff who were married this weekend and what a gorgeous weekend to be married. Uh, Ashley Jenkins, now Ashley Fickett and Janice Reynolds, now Janice Hutchinson. Congratulations uh, on your weddings. We're so happy for you. Thank you all for being patient and understanding during this time. We are making progress and we're continuing to be as cautious and thoughtful as we can to make sure that with the uncertainty in front of us, we will be here to support the community. And that means that sometimes we have to move slowly and be really careful with both funding as well as to the decisions we're making to ensure that we are here for those who need us. Please remember how much you're appreciated uh, and that our thoughts are with you. I hope you have a wonderful week.